Okay, so Governor Herbert just came out and stated that he needs to reflect the will of the people. And in so doing, he's going to repeal the tax reform bill. You would think that that's a very generous gesture, but that actually has nothing to do with it at all. This is Governor Herbert and the Utah legislature is trying to save face. They realize that they've made a complete blunder, that even though they're so used to trampling on our rights and oppressing us, we finally woke up. And I'm not saying the majority of Utahns woke up. I think basically what happened is a small select few people took the time to educate themselves and to go out there and knock on doors and make videos and try to deliver the message of what was really going on. And in so doing, we were able to get into people's homes and, and also Harmon's, thank you, the Harmon's grocery store for allowing us to come in and have people sign the referendum and also Lynn's and other grocery stores. We appreciate that. But basically, as people were leaving the grocery store, it's not that difficult to be educated real quickly and to sign a referendum. But unfortunately, most likely this will just continue. And I'll tell you why. Because a lot of people will probably just praise the fact that we quote unquote won and that they're there. That means the legislature and Governor Herbert are going to repeal the tax reform bill that they tried to slam down our backs and shove down our throats. But the problem is, is we don't think about why we got here in the first place. Why would we have so many representatives that would do this to us? And I'll tell you why. Because we're not engaged, we're apathetic, and we're lazy. And this is why our representatives treat us like sheep. They push us around and they try to convince us that their own version of utopia is the only path. And we unfortunately, because we'd much rather go home and watch Netflix, allow them to do this for years and years. And this time it didn't work. So what is Herbert going to do in the legislature going to do? They're going to repeal the tax reform bill that they passed into law. And in so doing, Governor Herbert, in his public address, wanted to make sure that even though he's really excited about reflecting the will of the people, he wanted to make sure that, that we understood that we're so stupid as an electorate and that we really were saving millions of dollars and we really don't understand what we're doing and can't possibly comprehend their, their genius. The, the politicians and Governor Herbert, their versions of u utopia and their, their genius and, and intellectualism is so beyond our, our pity, pitiful understanding. Um, I love it when, when Herbert, as he basically explains that they're going to put their tail between their legs and repeal the tax reform bill as if now we've won the electorate. No, we haven't won. You're just trying to prevent us from showing you in November when that tax referendum <clears throat> gets pushed through and we vote this tax bill up or down. You just don't want us to remember who our representatives are in November because that's what would have happened. In November, when the Utah citizens would have had a chance to vote on this terrible, disgusting tax reform bill that they said was going to free us all and make us rich, we would have remembered Rex Ship, and we would have remembered Evan Vickers, and we would have remembered how they really think about us. And we would have basically kicked them out into the street. And uh, think of all the other representatives in Utah that would also have been kicked out on the street. But they don't want that. So in order to save face and do some damage control, Governor Herbert's going to reflect the will of the people and repeal the tax bill. One of the reasons in which he decided to do that was not just because it's the will of the people, but because there's so much uncertainty and, and confusion if the tax reform bill that Herbert and his minions were trying to shove down our throats, if that gets basically stalled, they wouldn't know what to do with themselves. No, you, I think you would know what to do with yourselves because you've had a tax system for years now that has worked not very well, but has worked just fine. Um, that would have been the backup. 
So there is no uncertainty, Mr. Herbert. You would have just gone back to your old ways. So that's not possibly the reason why you repealed the tax reform bill that you shoved down our throats. You are just doing damage control and making sure that it looks like you're saving face and that you're trying to be compassionate and understanding. You're a politician at heart, you're spineless, and you're an empty suit. And unfortunately, because you've repealed this bill and it, because it won't be on the ballot in November, most likely the Utah electorate will go back to their old ways and will be apathetic and lazy and will probably not do anything. We'll probably not remember that our electives tried to basically form force their utopia upon us at all costs and then tell us that we're stupid when we uh, basically push back. That's what this is all about. There is no confusion. There is no uncertainty up at the Capitol. They would just go back to their old tax system ways. So that's not possibly the reason why they decided to repeal this tax bill. There is no uncertainty. You don't want to be basically held accountable in November. And when we basically voted on it in November, we would remember your names. I'm never going to forget your name, Herbert. You might be leaving the office, but you will always be the same to me. Just like from day one, you're a yes man. You don't believe in freedom or liberty, just like most of our representatives don't. They try to profess that they're the most conservative state in the union with low taxes, and they believe in freedoms and liberties, and then they trample it upon our backs and constantly push us around. And to be honest with you, we really deserve it because we're the ones that voted for Herbert and we're the ones that voted for our representatives. And this was just a small awakening of what they're really like. So if you really want to make a difference, you need to look at yourself first and make sure that you hold these representatives accountable and hold yourself accountable too. Because we are the ones that put them into power. And we are the ones that have the power now to push them out of power and to put someone else in power that actually believes in freedom and liberty and actually represents the will of the people. But until we stand up and actually pay attention, this most likely will just happen again. I'm praying it doesn't. And here is to freedom.